In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use Chef Vault. Um, what Chef Vault does is uh, essentially it lets you encrypt uh, data bag items using the uh, uh, the public keys of your nodes. Um, it, what it basically amounts to an access list. Uh, there's a few prerequisites um, on the top right here. I've already run these commands, so I'm not gonna um, I'm not gonna run them now. Um, but I'll leave these in the comments for you to for you to copy if you need them. What it does is basically just installs the Chef Vault gem, uh, download, downloads this uh, Chef Vault cookbook from the uh, marketplace, and then let's go ahead and create the vault. Creating a temp directory called Vault Test, where I'm going to store these keys. Um, <clears throat> the vault file is dev underscore secrets dot json. The structure looks like this. So the ID is dev secret, so that's going to be the uh, the vault name. Um, what I'm storing here is a SQL password, an application password, and a an SSL cert. So SSL cert's empty right now. I'm going to show you how I how I do that. So I'm going to create this private key. And it's uh, saved as ssl.key. Then I'm going to base64 encode it, and I'm uh, I'm stripping out the line breaks with this this switch here. So the encoded SSL sort of looks like this. So the reason I need to encode it is because, uh, uh, I mean, it's got to be in that format for me to put it into the JSON. All right, so just paste that in there. Obviously, uh, uh, the multi-line string isn't isn't going to work. So, uh, base sixty four encode is the is the way that I've just always done it. Okay, so we've cr we have this uh, dev underscore secrets .json file, so that's ready to be uploaded to the vault. Um, before I can do that, I need to create a uh, a data bag that the vault is uh, that vault item is stored in. So knife data bag create vault underscore demo, and then knife vault create, then the data bag name, and then the vault item name. And then it's dash dash json dev secrets dot json. Uh, this search, uh, the search parameter, um, basically this is providing the uh, this this determines the nodes that will be able to access this vault. So in this case, uh, everything uh, that has a sh the chef environment AWS will be able to read the vault. Okay. So that's created. Um, what that did is it created the vault in my uh, my chef home or my uh, uh, repository, which is here. So you can see it under data bags. This uh, vault demo directory. Take a look in there. Secrets.json. And it's encrypted. So, SQL password, application password, and then the SSL cert. Now, if we look at that secrets underscore keys, so each vault has a. Uh, it, it's going to create two JSON files in this um, in your data bag. It'll have the dev secrets dot JSON or the you know vault dot JSON, um, which is the the data itself, and uh, the dev secret keys .json is it's essentially your your access list. This is how Chef is managing um, who's able to uh, decrypt it. So you can see all the nodes that are able to decrypt it. These are these are all the nodes that match the criteria that I set uh, here. Chef environments, AWS. These are all my AWS nodes. 
Right, so now that that's done, I need to run uh, knife data bag from file. Uh, the, this data bag name and then the, the name of the directory. So even though I did the knife vault create command, it's, it hasn't uploaded to the shop server yet. It, it, all it did was create the files that I needed to upload it to the shop server. So with this knife data bag from file command, I'm, it's actually uploaded. And if I run knife vault show, I should be able to see it. And there it is. Okay, so the vault's created. Um, let me show you this cookbook that I wrote to actually deploy it. So this cookbook's just called Test Vault. Uh, <clears throat> there's feet lines in the beginning where it's it's, uh, it's referencing the uh, Chef Vault uh, cookbook that we downloaded earlier. Um, there's there's some uh, resources there that are needed to to decrypt it. Um, I'm creating this direct directory called opt uh, your underscore projects. I'm creating a template file that's auth dot properties, and it's it's just storing the two um, the two passwords, the SQL password and the application password. Uh, this other template file is going to store the the pem file, uh, server dot pem, right? And you can see for this server dot pem one, it's it's base sixty four decoding it. So you base sixty four dot decode sixty four secrets. Yada yada. And if you look at the auth dot properties, that's pretty straightforward. And if you look at <clears throat> server dot pem, same thing. Right. So that's the cookbook. Um, let me deploy this on an AWS server. Oh, whoops. This is one that I, uh, I just spun up. Okay. So there's nothing in opt right now. Chef client dash o recipe. What did I call that? Test vault. And there it is. CD opt your project. There's the auth dot properties and server dot pem. Here's the auth dot properties. Cell password is blurg. Application password is blurg. And the server dot pem is like so. Actually, to to be sure, let me just uh, let me just compare it to the original uh, key and make sure it's not. It hasn't been. Does that look right? Yep, yep, yep. And uh, that's all there is to it. Uh, I'm gonna leave these commands in the uh, comments. Uh, so if anybody wants them, you can grab them. Um, I think uh, if I, I showed everything in the cookbook, so if you need to grab that, you can probably just pause the video and uh, jot that down. There's, there's not too many lines there, so. Um, Thanks for listening and uh, stay tuned for the next video.